So why do I have this POP? Because every good gamer knows that when you have a semi-rare or rare drop from a random encounter, you keep it. Even if that means keeping it and getting it back means you have to drop valuable things because they weigh too much and your character is over encumbered. And yes, I have dropped a Dwarven Greatsword of Blizzards just so that I could keep the Wooden Sword in my inventory because I was like, hey, it's a Wooden Sword. The interaction that led to me having that little piece of POP is actually a little bit more normal than that all. It went a little bit more like this. Hey, do you want to take this with you or keep it? Yeah, sure. But if we were to slow down my mental process a little bit, it might sound something a little bit more like this. That's an odd thing to keep. But then again, it is pony. I do like ponies. How often am I going to have a chance to present it where I get to one of these? Almost reminds me of when I got that paper craft thing for spending so much money on my little pony stuff too. In that sense, it's almost like being the X number of customer, except I don't really get confetti or any sort of prize or any celebration, but hey. Eh, screw it. Yeah, sure, I'll take it. It was also fun because while I was there, there was tons of really, really geeky stuff, and I'd never really been into a comic store much all before, much as a hobby store. So needless to say, I spent a lot of time just wandering around, just like, went to see if they had more of the manga issue of uh, dogs, which they had all of them. Well, except number three, which is the one that I really need to get. I mean, they even had the prelude, issue zero. And I was like, <sighs> But they did have quite a few of the micro-series of the IDW MLP series, including uh, issue two, but not issue one, so I'm still missing the first. Fandoms are kind of interesting that way. Simply being a hardcore fan of something is almost a rewarding experience in and of itself. In fact, that's one of the things that I think I enjoy about being a geek, is that you're almost expected to geek out about stuff that you're a fan of. In fact, if you really think about it in that aspect, more of us are geeks than probably most of us like to admit, because a lot of us are really hardcore fans of different things. They just tend to not fall in nerdy categories. Which then there's that whole debate over nerd versus geek, and which is which, and who are you, and where do you fall, and I'm not sure if I'm a nerdy geek or a geeky nerd, but I'm not really too concerned either way. Also, one just a little side note, I keep seeing things about this RPG system called Mouse Guard, and now my interest is starting to get peaked, and I might check that out, maybe even see about running some campaigns for some players or something like that, because, I mean, come on, a tabletop pen and paper game that seems to uh, almost sort of draw a little bit on that whole Redwall experience? Heck yeah! So here's something fun for geeks, there's a webcomic called Where Geek, and I had an excellent time reading through all of it in like two days, even though I had years to catch up on and link in the doobly-doo, as well as possibly some other stuff I'm going to try to link to, uh, to help give you more context for some of the things I've talked about, like uh, that mouse guard thing. Redwall, for example. <laughs> Anyways, geek on, everypony.